Hi, I hope you guys are doing all right. Things can be a little difficult sometimes, but I hope no matter how difficult things are that um, you guys pull through it, things will definitely get better. So regardless, if you're having a terrible start to the new year, um, just hang in there, you pull through it. And if your new year is already great, then uh, okay. <laughs> Now today, I, I, this video took about two weeks to make and it took a collaboration between me and my buddy K9. So it was both of us that um, experimented with this. We had a kind of similar results and um, I'll just share it with you guys. This has to deal with Ares War or Project Ares, which is this NPC right here and fighting all these bosses, the 10 bosses of Ares. Now, the one thing you all notice is it's quite difficult to get rewards from these particular bosses. And if you don't know where this boss or this NPC is, you can just go to your maps and I'm right here. But you can find this, you can find this NPC right here, Project Ares Guide. And every Friday it will appear in your time limited event. I think by 7 p.m. server time, it will appear right here. So now that I've known what the event is, I what we noticed or what Kane and I did is after experiencing this event a couple times, we realized that it's quite difficult to get the entire 10 chests from this event. Mainly because, um, like my server, we usually start with the weakest boss, which is the 10 and 11. We go to the 10, kill it, get the reward. Go to the 9th, kill it, get the reward. Then we keep going just like that to 8, 7, 6. But the problem with this is there are some players that just come into this event and go any mini mini more and oh the third boss looks nice I'm, let me go fight that one and some come and they do the reverse of what we do by killing the ninth and tenth boss they go and attack the first boss what this causes is that um, by the time you are done killing all these bosses or trying to kill all these bosses let's say you are the seventh boss before you go to the sixth boss it's probably already dead <laughs> and you go to the fifth and by the time you're done with that before you go to the fourth you realize that the fourth and third are probably already dead or sometimes all four of these are already dead that's the issue what we decided or what we thought about doing was to try and get all chests from all these bosses so the right way to go about doing this is when the bosses start of course join the tenth and ninth bosses attack and stay till you kill these two and then you go to the next boss your eighth boss and you go and fight him until you've gained about um, i believe a hundred thousand not hundred thousand i believe one million damage to this boss once you've dealt enough damage to this boss at least one million i should have a clip on now showing the damage i dealt you can leave this boss and go to the next boss and then you do the same thing with the next boss and once you've dealt enough damage you leave it to the other boss and doing this will net you the rewards for each of these bosses and that is the method of this video that's what i wanted to share with you guys it is a little risky as when i did it i didn't deal enough damage to some of the bosses and when the event ended out of six boss i i only got four chests i, I missed most of the other bosses because i came in late so out of the six bosses i fought i only got four chests that means i missed two rewards two chests two bosses i didn't deal enough damage to two bosses so that is one simple method you can use for this event just stay for the 10th and 9th bosses and after that you go to the 8th boss attack it deal enough damage to this boss and then you move on to the 7th boss and attack it deal enough damage to this while you are here you probably will receive the reward for this one if they kill it while you are still here that's how it goes that's what happened to me then you can once you've dealt enough damage to this, you move on to this boss as well, just like that. I suggest that you use the usual classes that deal enough damage, like the Visionaire or the Illusionist. Especially the Visionaire as, um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of balls in this. Bruh. What? Really? This class is annoying. Oh my gosh. But anyway, that's the tip I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or requests, please drop them down there in the comment section. I read all of them. I will respond to you if needed. I'll make a video if necessary. Again, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please have a lovely year, a lovely week, a lovely day. And take care, guys.